right, we'll bring on our favorite Australian. <clears throat> Who am I to say, chat? We'll bring, on, we'll bring on our favorite Australian first. Um, We'll bring on our favorite madman, I think. Our favorite psychopath. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, <clears throat> that sounds good. Let's get into it. 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 Um, let me be again. Okay, let's do it. All right, this is I did a thing. Uh, I made a spear gun and took it twice as many fish. I don't think that's how it works, but I respect the grind. Our favorite mad scientist, our favorite barefooted mad scientist for the down under chat. Uh, let's see what we got here. How you going? Hi. I love spear fishing. No. Dude, can I be real with you guys? How you going is a powerful phrase. <laughs> hey, Aether, much love to you. Much love to you. I spent heaps on countless bits of gear. Sure. But okay. despite my passion, I'm kind of crap. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. And my ratio of shots taken to fish hit is yep. at best like one out of three. And even when I do hit a Wait, that a stingray? Wait, is that a stingray? Dude, I hate Australia, bro. I y'all are just different down there, dude. I can't that I I think it's edited. Fish like this cobia, which I shot in the back of an eagle ray. Ah! An eagle ray? What is an eagle ray? Uh, eagle ray is just a big ass stingray, right? Apparently. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I don't think you can hunt the rays, though. Mr. Steve Lord, I let's be real, chat. Nobody, Steve Irwin would never want you to hurt an animal on his behalf. Let's be real. Dude, Steve Irwin, nah. Matt Man would never want you to hurt an animal on his behalf. Absolutely not. I lose them probably half the time. Sure. That's a bad ratio. So today, instead of improving my aiming skills, sure. I'm going to make a double-barreled spear gun that hopefully makes it impossible for me to miss. Which I don't want to go spearfishing. There's too much equipment required. I like fishing fishing. I think fishing fishing is lovely. Um, a nice, a nice, a nice warm morning, nice cup of coffee, just throwing the line out, and just draw. Oh, it's the best. I haven't done it in like 10 years, though, 20 years. Lead me a while. into the gnarliest three-day adventure of my life. Wait, really? Three days? No, those aren't lionfish. Sorry. I was trying to think of lionfish. Those are not lionfish. Sorry. Aw, oh, baby. Where I face big ocean currents. Dude, we're getting a hole. Find some big fish. Whoa. Are those like sharks? I'll take you fishing. Well, I got some fishing near me, probably. Last time fishing, we caught a uh, uh, plesiosaur. Nice. Uh, stingrays are always uh, flight or fight in response. Steve Irwin happened across the one stingray he decided to fight. Yep. It is what it is. It really is. That's a monster. Dude, are we getting like an epic tale from our local scientist? And even bigger sharks. Yeah, I just saw it. It was heading mm. right at you. Wait, where? Did you say what it was? <clears throat> I couldn't tell from above. It looks like a white. Dude, are we getting like... This man went from making weaponized destruction in his backyard to going on epic adventures, dude. I love right, it. Right, the first thing I did was buy a big piece of wood. Yeah. And there's debates amongst men in the spear fishing community about their favorite wood to get wet. And most men suggest teak or mahogany as they are high in oils and the wood doesn't expand sure. under water. But they are both too expensive. So sure. I ignored all the men on the internet and went for this stuff. Black butt. Purely... I feel like... I don't know. I feel like with five million subscribers, two million a thing, you've got enough money to buy the better wood, my man. Did you hear about these stingray Jesus? I've not. Because I like the name. Okay. But I have no idea if we'll be strong enough or go well underwater. Okay. And for the handle of the gun, I'm going to copy the design of my camera gun, as I like the feel in my hand, and I think it'll be hilarious to confuse beachgoers by looking like I'm bringing a shotgun in the water to shoot fish. <laughs> true. So after I sketched out the handle, I'll I started cutting visit. the true, wood true, with true, the jigsaw. True. But I've already got a problem. Either oh. I don't know how to use a jigsaw or this uh. wood is too tough. And I cut a random piece of wood to make sure. And it's definitely the wood. In this. Well, that's good though, right? A tough piece of wood. I imagine that's a good thing. It has to be. Logistically. So, one of the uh, Ray's Aquarium is a printed with another uh, another as a tank. It's Stingray Jesus. That's weird. Sucks. My whole body is vibrating. And worst of all, I already have my first crack. 
Ooh. Off to a bad start, my man. What kind of... How tough is the... Is, what is it? Black... Black... What is it? Black butt? Wood? So to stop any more cracks from getting any ideas, I cut that one off and chucked right. it over the fence to disincentivize any others from appearing. Smart. Smart. By the way, if you guys have never had a f uh, fence that goes to nowhere, you always chuck out the fence. Trust, trust, trust. So to avoid any more cracks, I decided to use my belt sander to just carve out the whole oh. thing, which is incredibly wasteful as yeah. I'm just turning the wood into dust and won't have any usable offcuts. But yeah, at least I I'm mean, probably going to inhale half of the wood, so it's not all going to waste. Stop that. <laughs> and I okay, finished good. doing the profile but discovered something else very embarrassing. What's that? And I'm going to show you, since I know you won't tell any of my other I won't tell anybody else, don't worry. Another crack. For those of you who don't know why it's a big deal, if there's any kind of, like, weakness in the integrity of the wood, the moment he fires that trigger, it's going to just break the, the, the thing. Like, any cracks in your foundation is going to break... The whole thing will come tumbling down. So, that's... It's not good to have any of these cracks at all. And I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, as I've never worked on wood that has cracked this much before. It could be from all the times I dropped the wood on the hard concrete floor. Nice. Or it no, could it's be not that, that time I used it as a pinata stick at a kid's birthday. It might be that. <laughs> Rocks! <laughs> His kids are cute, but dude. I think more likely the wood is the problem. Hi, Slash! How are you? Are you? Yeah, I know, so right? I drew a line down the middle, which is where the barrels will go. And they're okay. going to be made out of these carbon fiber tubes. But there's a problem. The spear doesn't fit into the tube. So I need to cut a dead straight notch down the whole tube. And to This is, again, I'll never be not impressed by how much this man puts into his work. Like, he's so sincerely out of his mind, and it's fantastic. If I had that kind of power and insanity, I'd rule the world. Uh, I, it's true, I know, right? Uh, yeah, I know, Slush. It's very, very fun. I've been enjoying that, it. I made this guide so I can pass the tube in front of this Dremel tool. And while cutting carbon fiber, it's extremely important to ignore the manufacturer's recommendation of eating and inhaling the dust. As I've done that a couple of times, and I, I find it really makes your asshole itch in the morning. Okay, carry on. Morning. All right, in an attempt to hide the cracks I just created, I traced sure. around this section where the trigger is going to go as I, I want to reinforce it, it with makes the steel outer plate. But more importantly, it's going to look cool. And after cutting out the metal, I decided I didn't want to use this metal anymore as it's shiny. And instead of cutting out a different kind of metal, I'm just going to stain it with the only gun-related thing I was legally allowed to bring back from the... Let's airsoft, right? I'm pretty sure you can't get a gun in the land down under very easily, dude. I'm fairly convinced that that's airsoft because it is very hard to get a real gun down there. Dates. Cold blue. Okay. I'm also hoping it'll add a bit of protection from I the rust. I just said, got it, got it, got it. Okay. But after looking up if it does that, it actually does the opposite. But I've already done it. Ha! So we'll find out what happens. Awesome. Okay, now comes the most stressful part, okay. which is cutting the slot for the trigger mechanisms. And I'm pretty scared. Oh, man. This is going to be rough. Yeah, because my first attempts at making it the trigger hole on uh -huh. scrap wood didn't go that no, way. No, it's And because it's double-barreled with two spears, I'll have two triggers, right. which both have to be perfectly in line with each other in order to shoot straight. But I've got another problem. What's the that? two identical triggers I ordered aren't the same. But... Oh, no. It just gets worse and worse and worse, bro. So, uh, to base duels on opponents, airsoft guns. I miss that. Oh, my gosh. I guess just like I did. Yes, there's a lot of uh, laws. Sort of the can be the gun. Ones. Fair. And I don't know what else to do besides Fair. cutting off the trigger and then rewelding it. Ow. And the welding industry wants you to think that you can't weld stainless steel with MIG or that you need to buy special welding wire, but they're lying to you. And this seemed to come out fine, at least for now, until it rusts in the water. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, this is cursed. Oh, it gets worse. This thing's going to be a bastard by the end of it. Um, It's just, I'm not a welding professional, but I do know that this kind of well is going to be, I mean, maybe. And somehow I got it pretty perfect. Wow. Okay, now for the trigger. That is a gross weld. <laughs> Ew. Oh, wow. That is a, one of the most welds of all time. Is this three printed? No, no, it makes this all from scratch. This is all stainless steel. Like he cuts it, he makes it all from scratch. He welds it, he does it all from scratch. So he's making a double barrel spear gun from scratch. Lot. And I did that using a router, a tool I've always been okay. way too scared to use. What is that? Ever since my mate Rowan cut the tip of his finger off. But my. Why would you show that? 
Fingers are shorter than Rowan's, so I should just. Uh, I was saying, would you rather here. have this or a well, three-pointed one? I would have this one. Correct method, but I just plunged it into the hole and then gently moved it around, trying okay. not to go out of my line. Sure. Then I drilled some holes all the way through and tidied up the trigger slot. And uh as a water, the water's are bad, but he needs a, he needs the paint. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's a, I don't think he's, I don't think he cares about the paint though. And put in the trigger mech. All right, I've stuffed up again. If the spears are lying flat on the wood, oh. they slide nicely into the triggers. Okay. But when I put the spears in the carbon fiber barrels, they don't fit. Oh no! It's too high. So either I'm going to have to raise the triggers up or, or cut rails or cut the, the carbon rails. fiber yep. tubes in the wood, which I'm just going to pretend I wanted to do the whole time. I would cut rails. I would cut rails. I think that's the better play, right? will also give me more surface area for the glue that I'm going to use later. So okay. I cut some grooves with the router, and yep. now I think this is going to work. Fucking hell. God. I'm not disappointed this home defense weapon. If it's to me, it works. I... Next, I cut some holes for the rubbers, and I want to use twin 16 mil rubbers. Okay. And for the Americans, it's about the same thickness as your average Midwestern cock. That's cool. <laughs> which will mean each spear has the power of a single 16 mil rubber, which okay. in my experience is more than enough. But I don't really know how thick the wood needs to be to support that much power, so that's another thing that could break. The, the thing that's like that would stress me out is it's literally the case of you could always remove more of the wood on here but you can never add back and he's doing a lot of carving and cutting and i'm like bro at what point are we gonna run out of like surface area to cut into this thing before you start over from scratch because that is like that's that's tricky that's a tricky pickle is all i'm saying shut off three times it's too short i mean like Rating this guy's home would just be the rated R version of Home Alone. ID watch it. Okay. Sign me up for the splash zone. I. This guy has already proven that the Beyblade alone would like decapitate somebody. So yes, I think so. And this gun looks pretty nice, besides my dirty fingerprints all over it. That's fine. So I sanded it all down, and also removed some more wood to hide the cracks that I had created. And then okay. gave it a clear coat of epoxy, which will hopefully stop the water from getting in and making those cracks bigger and also make it sure. look prettier. Okay, we're off to, a, I mean, the, 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 I, the chassis is there, but I'm curious. Oh, also, there's the claw grabber in the background, the man catcher. <laughs> and I picked this epoxy spray specifically because it was the only thing I had in this crack behind the shelf in my garage. Been there. I didn't that's have right. that. Woo, you know, that's not bad. Where's Matt Australia? He's right here. Okay, after letting the epoxy dry nice and hard, Not I then bad. scraped the epoxy back off so that the glue I'm going to use will stick strongly to the wood. Yeah. And some of you are probably thinking that I could have just put masking tape over these areas while spraying the epoxy so I don't... I mean, you could have. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but hey, man, you, you could have done that thing. I wanted to just create a weapon and take uh, how many uh, inches of parasite or something. What is it? Wait, what? So waiting for a format movie? I mean... I'm going to have to do double the amount of work. And you'll be right. And for the glue for the barrels, I sampled a lot of different kinds. Sure. Okay, number one, you ready? Open your mouth. Stop it. <laughs> that is horrible. Horrible. Right, number two. Number two. I mean, it's for the bit, so I respect it. But man, that sucks. I do. No, he's sampling different glues. Get the joke, Chad. He's sampling the glues. I mean, I get it's for a bit, bro. I do. It's a really funny bit, but man, that sucks. Like, it's a good bit. It's me in kindergarten, just having a little snack. Chat, you, you never touched your glue. Chat, I poured you some glue. Chat, did you, chat, did you, did you, I poured you your glue, chat. Why'd you not touch it? Chat, I, pour, I poured you, I, I, with a nice fine sampling of permanent markers, <laughs> which by the way, do smell good and I'll stand by it. Listen, if they didn't want markers to smell good, they wouldn't have made those one markers that smelled good. You know the ones, the ones that like apple and cherry and shit. If you want me smelling markers, why did you make markers that smell really good? I'm going to smell every marker forever now because they smell good. You did this to me, corporate America. What was that? Sorry. Yeah, go, go. Oh, this is super good. They swallow it? You want to spit it out? Yeah, I, I like that one. I like that one. Did he swallow oh, it? Oh, my God. Far, my favorite was this one, 69 Epoxy. Nice. Which, despite the name, I really wouldn't recommend using for that position.
So I glued the carbon fibre barrels down and I'm very glad I picked this epoxy as it has an hour working time and 24 okay. hours drying time. Oh, that's not bad it at all. It probably took me over an hour to get everything down that's and not bad at all. straight and in line with each other. And then I just waited for it to dry. Please dry properly and in place. Did he swallow the glue? I'm pretty sure he swallowed the glue, but he, you know what, at this point he does what he wants. I'm not getting that off. Next, I'm gonna do something I've never seen on spear guns and put things on the front, which I'm trademarking and calling shark pokers. As we quite often see sharks while spearing, and sometimes you have a nice sharp spear to poke them away with. But most of the time, I find the sharks come in after you have shot the fish, and then you- That's actually a very smart idea. No cap. The uh, organic solvents, the compounds of these, uh, make smell like uh, furus because they literally also used to make synthetic fruit aromas. Interesting. Do you think huffing uh, markers is the reason so many furries are stinky? Yes. <coughs> I know they literally uh, made a set of markers that dose the uh, sniff markers. I still want to sniff them all. And that's smart though. You want to like this way put bayonets on stuff, right? When you run out of ammo, you stab stuff. Same energy. If I run out of ammo, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab the ghoul or in this case the shark. It makes sense to me. This man's like a uh, 12, 12 watch list. Oh, 100 percent But at least he's like, if he's gonna be go in Sato mode, I'm glad that he's protecting himself. Because if you're gonna go in the middle of the ocean, deep diving with a spear gun, you're gonna be drawing blood probably. Probably your own, but drawing the blood of the fish, you're very likely to attract a shark. You gotta be able to stab it when you don't have the, the, the spears ready to go. You no longer have a spear. So this still gives me a way to poke them and always yep. remain protected while yes. in the water. And speaking of protection, let me tell you an even better way to protect yourself than shark pokers. Opera browser, which is- All right. Opera browser. I have opinions about Opera GX, but you guys do head, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> it's NordVPN? Wait. It's fully featured for privacy, security, and protects everything you do online. And it's also faster and smarter than any of the other browsers. Is it Opera GX or just Opera? As I've used, and was really helpful while making this video. I absolutely love the features it has, like Aria, an inbuilt browser AI, which is easily accessible in the sidebar and gives you clear answers instantly. I've got opinions about Opera. I won't bring them in because this is my man's, like, you know, this is his ad. Um... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. But, yeah. For whatever you want to know. Also, the highlight tool allows me to highlight anything online, and then Aria gives me a brief explanation and overview of the topic. Sure. Also, when you download Opera, you get your own island. Wow. Tab Islands, which sorts my tabs by relation, so you don't have to have 30 tabs open at once, which makes my breath. We're not skimming it because it's ethical reaction content. Um, but just know that I, I think that if you're going to look into Opera, you should do some research first. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Browser are cleaner and easier to use. I saying. also regularly use the free VPN and ad blocker, which is built into the browser so you can browse securely, so you can block ads whenever you want, sure. which sure. is incredibly sure. useful. Yep. I also love this video pop-out feature, which means you can detach videos and keep watching them while browsing and doing other stuff, which sure. allows me to do more things at once and is great for my ADHD. So go download Opera using the link in my description to get the most useful, safest, and fastest browser. Sure. That right, is... back to the shark pokers. That is bad. I'm going to use the restroom real quick, but uh, if you're going to download an application, um, you know, if it's Opera, just do a little bit of research real quick. Because it is funny. But also, real talk, um, I, I do have a, a physical ailment that I have to ingest like three times as much water as the average person. So, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it's a real thing. Um, I basically, if I don't, I, if, you, if you've been on the stream for a while, you'll know that my eyes, I'll just, like, lose vision in my eyes sometimes. Um, and it's just a part of it. I just gotta drink a shit ton of water a day. So I always bring on, like, three. It's still funny. Hey, we can still make fun of the pissies. We can still make fun of the pissies. It's still funny. But um, it's just a little content. I don't think I've ever told you guys. Oh, that's why uh, uh, it hasn't happened in a, a bit. Yeah. Uh, um... I drink like three or four mason jars with the water a stream, and I still need to drink more water before night's end. Um, it's just it is, it is what it is. It's just like I don't remember what the doctor said specifically. Is like, can I uh, sell my people? Oh yeah, you can sell my people. But it's still, it's still funny. It's still a good bit. But yeah, that is why I have to piss so much. It's because I drink so much, right? Um, like this is my so far for stream. I've had two mason jars, kombucha, my protein shake. Like, and I'm still I'm still parched. So that's why I have to go so often. It is what it is. I think. I think. Hey, you know, you gotta live with what you gotta live with. You know what I'm saying your mug is serious. Yay! Hopefully your mug is like not shattered. We've had some issues with the mugs. I contacted the people. They said uh, they're first off they deeply apologize, um, and they mentioned like you know this is the first time working with this, this uh, 
this um, distributor and they talk to the distributor and they're trying to get st those situations um, rectified. Uh, they're very they're, they apologize. So if, they, if, you guys, if you guys see anything wrong with the merch, just let us just let, 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 let them know. Let me know. Uh, this is our first merch la launch with these people, and I want to make sure if we do it again, it's for the best, right? <laughs> yeah, country, how are you doing? Do you have a lot? Uh, you have to take a lot of choices because that too. I have to take on a lot of electrolytes and a lot of um, just water in general, really. But yes, I have to take in like extra everything. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer because I gotta pee all the time, but also uh, it's uh, it is what it is. I'm playing with the hoodie arm tattoos if I can. Aw. There's a picture of the strange uh, gay dog on my cup. I'm sorry to hear that. That's awful. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Guys, you're thinking of all. How you doing? Welcome in. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. What about public drinking emote? You know, I don't think we... I think it'd be really funny to get. I never thought about that, actually. It'd be really funny. Like a hydration emote. Or where were we? Oh, yes. Back to the gun. Back to the gun, chat! And the pokers also act as a wraparound point for the line oh. that is connected to the speed. And that's something I haven't explained. Hydra, thank you. The line I'm going to say about the hydration, uh, but probably for different reasons. Spear. That's Otherwise, fair. Otherwise, the fish that's just fair. run Hi, away with the spear when you shoot them. And most spear guns have a little hook on the side that the okay. line wraps around, which sure. will release when you shoot. However, cool, imagine being really uh, inconvenient, but also uh, nice, to meet, nice to meet you as well. Hope you had a great day. Um, it is pretty inconvenient, but also, like, you get used to it. You, it like, when it comes to, like, these kind of things, in terms of, like, my literal... Let, how do I phrase this? Um, you learn to live with it, and you learn to, like, work around it. Uh, it does suck, like, long vacations. You have to kind of, like, plan for rest stops. Especially if I'm going to go drive to, like, a ghost hunt, for example. I have to, like, plan out, okay, when's the next gas station? When's the next, like, you know, because I, I have to keep drinking or else I'll lose vision while I'm driving. It's the whole thing. So it's all it's a little annoying, but it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. I don't want to put one of these on each side of the gun as it seems annoying and a tangle risk. And also right. the triggers I bought didn't come with them. So oh. my next idea was to use some of these money clips that I have because I'm a rich YouTuber. True, which I dude. Hey, chat, I made record high money on YouTube last month. I'm officially better than you guys. I am a rich YouTuber now. Yep. Record high. Chat. You guys are I'm a poppy for maybe ready ready for this goddamn record high numbers on my YouTube last month. No 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 you, no no four dollars four dollars is from uh TikTok. I don't think I make money on TikTok anymore. No no no, chat this time. Being real, I made like sixty bucks, dude. Just saying, that's like half a video, bro. That's not bad. That's like half a video. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad, dude. Let's go. That's not bad. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm ready to wrap it up, baby. Granted, uh, the average um, edited video from Seth costs like 10 grand. So we're a little in the hole still, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> not bad. Hey, thank you. <laughs> nice. I blush. You can buy a video game. People, people happy. <laughs> would attach to the Start side and then the line would clip into them like this and okay. when you shoot it just releases oh. however i reckon i've discovered a better way and i'm really confused why no one in the spear fishing industry does this Go i ahead. can just place one end of the line Papa, around the me. real reason you pee so much mm -hmm. it's because you secretly checking on that machine you have in the living room Go on. you know the one that tells you how many normals you have turned into furries don't, don't call, lie to don't chat. call them normals Anya. Papa. don't call them normals you weirdo Anya, don't call them normals ew yes and then but loop yes. it over the front <laughs> but of the yes. speed, which will release when i shoot and this is so simple and removes so many moving normal parts, cm but true. the spear could also just tangle and bounce back and hit me okay then i attach the rubbers Okay. And if you watched my last video, you <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Tying spear gun rubbers. So this time, I'm gonna tie exactly the same knot. I don't think I've ever <laughs> two genders. No, I know the furries. True. I would. Uh, what if I pop out? What am I now? You're still normal. We're all normals here. Chat smile. Um, this seems like a really big, like, like, like the god dang um, uh, the thing he uses to shoot the god with that the. the the hose seems really, really big. I don't know. I don't know. I don't spearfish. I have no idea. And just before giving this a test shot, I thought of something. Go on. When I pull the rubbers back and place it over the spears, sure. they're most likely going to be forced together like this. Oh, uh, dude, this is the kind of stuff. Again, no, this is the madman brain working. This dude's got that giga brain for crazy inventions. He is a modern day doofenshmirtz. Also, thank you to follow. How you doing? You are. How you doing? 
and they might jam in the trigger mech. So okay. to hopefully stop that, I just took out some rubber washers from my car engine. <laughs> I don't think this does anything. I mean, I don't think it does really, right? I only pop us up and covering the uh, flesh of the first true. And then place that in it, which should keep the spears from pressing together. Okay. All right, it's time for the first test shot. And technically, it's not legal for me to shoot this while I'm not in the water. But Is that true? No, there's got it. No, is that true? Can you not shoot that in the water? Bro, ain't no way. I think I found a loophole. No. Yes, dude. This is the part. This is the part, by the way, that gives me anxiety. Is when you test this shit for the first time. I'm glad you have a face mask, bro. But if that shit bounces off, you are just you are dead. When that shit reflects off of anything, and it's gonna, it's dude. How are you alive? I don't know. I hate this part. This sucks. With the, with the brain dementia and the uh, hubris of oh, yeah, for real. Anxiety, anxiety, the tension on that thing alone. This is the most, like, jury rigged, put together nonsense. I, it looks good. It looks good, but I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. My man did not just misfire that thing. Sorry. Go back. Bro, bro, my heart left my body. My my brother and Jimmy, you can't. Oh, my God. How are you alive? Dude, yeah, your guard angels working overtime. This is ridiculous. How are you alive? Stop. And after retying all the rubbers, I had another go. Someone's dead? I. He has to evacuate his house for this shit, right? He's literally got to say, all of you go to your, your like, mother-in-law's for the weekend. I'm testing a new thing. Because this is... Ugh. God, anxiety. He's like, look at him. He's flexing so hard to get that on. How are you? Wait, if, you if it's taking you this long, how are you going to do it in the water, dude? Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me get out of the way so I can watch, so we can watch it together. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, yes. Chat. Anxiety. Chat. Dude, I don't want to hit play, bro. Uh, all right, I'm watching. Sorry. Here we go. Oh, oh, my God. I mean, it worked. It did work. Well. Wow. I'm glad I put the rubbers on the end. Yeah. That would have been nasty. Like that. That does work. I'm just curious how it's going to work in the old Waterino. I it I mean it works, right? Oh, that's pretty slick or whatever, but like I could have like gone into the yes, garage. Yeah, yeah it could have. And I'm very happy with that shot. Both the spears came out at exactly the same time, and the lines also didn't tangle, and the power seemed like heaps. And that was only with one rubber, but the spears will be moving a lot slower in the water. Dude, I don't think I there's no way you I don't know. This is like Again, he makes dangerous shit all the time, so maybe he's got, he's fine, but like, I get anxiety. So the cracks could get bigger, the sure. triggers might not go off at the same time, right. and then the spears will unlodge in a catastrophic way. Sure. Oh, and the wood might be too heavy or too buoyant underwater. Right. All of which I'll only find out once I get in the water. God. Uh, does he have <laughs> multiple spear guns? Oh, right. He, he, he does this for fun. Sorry. He shredded! The man shredded! Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. He's an outlaw loose and came with a French lip. Dude, to do some business with I didn't realize he had like a 12 pack. My man is sh I mean, if you're oh, in fairness, if you're doing this kind of like mad science, you're gonna be shredded, of course, right? Like the dude's got like a twelve. He looks great. He 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 he's a lot thinner looking than he's thinking to be, but he's got some tonage to him. Iron on his hip. Iron iron on his on his hip. Yeah, he, he looks he looks fantastic actually. Like I'm cheesing a little bit. The dude looks great. Credit where it's due, my man. You look like a goddamn Chad. 
Now, I'm, I want my spearing spots to remain secret so right. you guys don't just come there and mass kill every single fish, sure. which is why I'm going to try and not show any recognizable location. <laughs> Wait, is that just not the, like, the bridge? Okay, whatever. Sure. Stupid joke. Stupid joke. Just him drowning. <laughs> Stupid joke. It's it's such a it's a good one, but it's a stoop shut up. Stupid joke, bro. And after meeting up with my other mate, okay. we headed out to get some fish. Dude, I'm going to be 100 with you guys. I saw the spearfish from this guy, like, roll into frame, and I could not. It's like someone flagging you with a pistol at, like, a range, right? Dude, I just... <laughs> you're laughing? A man just drowned and you're laughing? Like, no, bro. Like, I saw that, like, he got flagged by the spear gun, and it... Uh, I don't know if that still applies. I don't know the rules of spear gunning, but I know if they get spear gunned. Mm-mm. And obviously, as this is a video about me making a spear gun, I right. am going to be shooting fish. Right. But don't worry, all the fish I shot were pedophiles. Good. And Thank God. Thank you for doing God's work. Thank you. Chat, thank thank goodness he uses his his massive intellect for good and not evil. <laughs> thank God. My man out here doing God Godspeed. Let's get some salutes in chat. <laughs> a pretty remote island chain six hours south of Sydney. Wow, that's beautiful. We've been here before and know that the area can be pretty rough. And with big swells forecasted, we decided to stick in the shallows, which would give me the opportunity to test out the gun and get my aim in on some smaller fish. Dude. I want to be real with you guys. As someone who was the Navy, who ya? Who ya? Um, the currents are no joke. Like, if you guys have never been to the like, deep ocean, currents are no joke. Full stop. Right? Like, so... I, he again. I'm sure he's a professional. I, I'm sure he's got it. But like, God, oh, this gracious. I'll see you in the water. Oh. Other toes. Oh yeah, it's scary. It's scary shit. God, Australia is so pretty despite its terrors. You know, I say that by the way, but also like, I say it's I say it's terrors and stuff, Chad. But America's got terrors too, bro. We've got, like, black bears. We've got, like, mountain lions. We've got, like, uh, brown recluse spiders. And, like, uh, USA got some shit, too, bro. Like, it, I mean, Australia, it's got bigger stuff, like, bigger spiders. But we have big spiders here, too. I don't know, man. We got some scary shit here, too. We have we have mooses in some part of the U.S. We got... Go to, go to the desert, any desert in the U.S., and you're going to find, like, three spiders and ten snakes that can kill you. Like... I don't know why Australia gets the rap of, like, they're going to die if you step outside. Like, not to mention, we got the worst thing. Humans with guns that are drunk. You go to Texas at the, at the wrong time of year, like 4th of July, you might get shot. Just for a walk on the street, bro. Like, nah. Oh, my God. So pretty. When I was when I was stationed in Hawaii, I went to Hanama Bay. I was stationed in Wahoo, and I went to Hanama Bay. And it's a beautiful coral reserve um, where all the money from tourism goes to protecting the coral reef. It's very, very good. They make it a point saying you can't take anything from the reef. You can't and touch the reef. You cannot touch any of the wildlife, right? They, they made it a point. You cannot do anything to the reef. You're only allowed to snorkel um, and hang out. And I love snorkeling there. Sort of. Uh, I had to be quick because once low tide hit, you'd be – your belly would be touching sea urchins. Um, so that's awful. But I digress. Um, the, the, uh, you can't touch anything, right? And I was, I was, uh, swimming. I was, I was doing my, um, hi, doing ice skull. How are you? Hi, sugar skull. Uh, started doing your chat. I got super baked. I thought you were a werewolf. Oh my God. Yeah, I'd be like that. <laughs> Anyways, I was swimming through, uh, Hanama Bay or snorkeling. And I went pretty deep into the bay. There was a attack on the, uh, Chief Super Bowl, uh, parade because people were mad at football team lose. And, and they said the furry phantom's wild. Um, but uh, uh, I was like swimming forward, right? And a sea turtle, looks like, looks like a bunch of sea turtles, right? There's beautiful sea turtles. Uh, they're like deep sea turtles. And I'm not allowed to touch them, right? So I was like, wow, beautiful, right? And it swims up to me and puts its shell on my tummy. I'm like, hey, it did that. I have no power here. It was just like, 
like just being like cute next to me. I'm like, this is this is awesome. I couldn't touch little guy. Hi zero. I couldn't touch the little guy because it's illegal. But I'm like, hey, if he wants to hang out on me, that's fine. He's just chilling. And just a big boy, Chad. This thing was massive. I would have to wager like easily like 100 plus pounds, dude. This thing was massive turtle. But dude, it was so cool. Um, that's how I feel about uh Manatee's benches are really cool too. Uh, I like Sonoma Bay a lot though. Yeah, you can touch them because you can't offset uh, them exactly. Uh, they, they uh, you, you you have oils and stuff. This is cool. Some cool shots here. Look at that, dude. He's just there chilling. Awesome. It just blends right in. And I'm not sure what this turtle was doing. At first, I thought it was just dead, as it wasn't moving and its head was squished under the rock. Well, it was just, he was A, looking for food, and B, blending in. He blended in real good, too. Um, that, th that, that thing's gonna be so waterlogged. Oh, 100%. My dog wishes to swim with the uh, whale sharks. They're so pretty. I think you do that in Oahu, actually. I think it was just sleeping or trying to get a feed or something. So, after waking it up, I got on the hunt for some fish. Okay. Dude, the amount of sea urchins. I hate sea urchins, dude. Aren't sea urchins, like, invasive? I'm pretty sure they are, yeah. I hate sea urchins. And here I'm doing a shallow dive to around 3 hate meters, em. 10 hate feet. Em. As I saw a school of lighter Invasive? Yeah, distance. I thought so, yeah. And Lutterick are usually pretty easy to hunt, but sometimes they can get skittish. And that's probably what happened as they saw me dive down. And right. then I couldn't get close enough to get a shot off. I know the big offenders right now, sorry, unrelated. Um, in Hawaii, at least, when I was there in Hawaii, is um, you've got... I'm thinking of the fall, by the way. Hey, how are you doing? Um, you've got... Uh, you've got urchins, and then I think lionfish are problems, problem critters. And I think you can legally kill both, depending on where you're at. Because I think... I think um, urchins, if you kill them, there's a guy on TikTok who will like go to a reef and just like kill a shit ton of urchins and crack them open and give them to like the wildlife near him, which is really fun. Like, cause they have a lot of meat inside once you get into them, right? So you can legally kill urch uh, iron lionfish. Yes, lionfish are mean little little bastards too. So I went out a little so deeper pretty. and dove to around seven meters or twenty two feet Ooh. and found a big group of red morwongs. Careful of the bends, buddy. Or a lot of species of certain images, yes. And red morwongs are just one of those fish you almost feel bad for shooting as they are a super easy shot and they just sit there staring at you with their big eyes. I mean, you gotta test it though, right? If you can eat the fish, you gotta test your gun, buddy. You gotta shoot it. You gotta and in try the it. background, I spotted one that looked around 40 centimeters. The perfect eating size. Okay, I didn't know. Here we go. Dude, how do you one arm this? The, the, this guy's strength is crazy, by the way. Yeah. But I still missed. Okay. And then I found out the first problem with this gun. Go on. There's twice as many spears to tangle on stuff. Oh, that's true. That's extremely true, actually. Eat the rich, of course, of course. And another problem I'm feeling is that the gun is super heavy in the water. Yeah. And it sinks really fast. Yeah. Which is making it really awkward to move around. As much as I like the idea of the wood, I think the plastic logistically is lighter. It probably just is better to shoot. So I reset the speed, which fiber. probably takes four times longer than a normal gun, and took another dive. Yeah, I was wondering how long it would take underwater. On the way down, this. found a hole that I thought an octopus would be in. <gasps> Dude, I just had octopus this week, past weekend from a can. I, Mari and I, I used to do this thing as a kid, where we would eat canned fish um, with like crackers and stuff, and I got Mari into the the, the, the tradition. So we just get like nice canned fish, and we eat it with like crackers and cheeses and stuff. It's really cute. Um, and I had an octopus this weekend from a can. It was very, very good. I knew you did Navy stuff, but, uh, what, uh, did you do, uh, this sort of thing? Oh, no. No, I never did this anything. This guy's in the Navy. No. No. The, uh, otters are keystone, uh, species against urchins, but lionfish, I don't know. He eats lionfish in nature. I have no, no idea. Was home. But I did find this big school of blackfish, which are delicious. Okay. Can you get one? Or two? I think this experiment's a success if he gets two. If he gets one shot, gets two, it's W. I don't think uh, someone's at my turn. They're okay. I just, I, I told you, you know. If he gets two of them. Oh, he's going to miss him. You lose your shot. You lose your shot. Oh, no way. And I missed again. Yeah. And for some reason, us Australians always have the most racist names for fish. We got blackfish. Okay. Jew fish. Wait, really? Australia. Chinaman leather jacket. No, that's, these are not real. Australia, guys. Yeah. 
And if you think those fish have racist names, you should look up what Lutterick used to be called. No, hold on, chat. I'll do it so you guys don't have to. Am I looking at this upright? Don't do it. I think I can find it. Ah, I can't find it. I'm sure it's something, though. I don't know. Probably something not stream friendly. Yeah, my guess. And this gun is really hard to aim in the water. I can't yeah. turn it at all. And I'd at imagine. this point, after missing so many times, I was desperate to get something for dinner okay. and even decided I was happy with something small. So I dove again with the plan of shooting a saw tail. Just shoot a urch at this point, bro. <laughs> a saw tail, what is that? <laughs> But I'm making these grunting noises in a poor attempt to attract fish closer, as Except hopefully they'll think I'm drowning and come over to save me. <laughs> Stupid. I was like, is that a real thing? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, he's gonna miss it. Here. Oh, no, man! And I missed again. It looks now, so hard to aim. Footage, I wasn't even pointing at the fish, no. so I'm definitely having trouble lining up the gun. Right. All right, okay. so I had scared a lot of fish in this spot, so he moved into different water and did I some I just wanted to say, this guy is actually insane. How you doing? Look, say doing. Dives at around 12 meters or 40 feet. Oh, wow. Now, for this dive, I want you to hold your breath with me and see how far you make it. All okay? Right. Let me know where to go. Okay. 10. No. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Oh shit! I wasn't okay. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to start now. Okay. Shit. Okay. Let me get ready. Okay. okay here we go. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Wait. Right, so here we go. Ready? All right. Here we go. Nine, okay. eight, seven, seven, go. six, five, here we go. four, three, two. Here we go, chat. One. Hold. One, not bad. Um, I don't think I could do it. The thing is, it's not bad, but also you gotta take into a fact you're swimming, you're in the water, the dude's geared up. So I, I, I can't. I see Jimmy, guys, don't die here, okay? <laughs> 30, 30 viewers died in public stream because they held their breath because a, a YouTuber told them to. I would put myself in the situation about uh, four, four. I, I did about forty-one. I think I could go longer, but you know. Uh, that even that is like that was still tricky. I don't know, like, I, cause um, cause a lot of it's like the, the fact that you're swinging around and stuff like that. It, it's tricky. Edward I fish. Just oh love the name no! The fish used to have, and it was it, the N word fish. What is, wow. Australia guys? I'm glad you changed it, but guys, come on. What are, what are we doing over there, gang, fellas? Ladies, not binaries. Yeah, I figured. I figured too. I did a Google. I must have spelled it wrong. Couldn't find it. Oh, he's snorkeling. That's why he has to do this. Oh. Oh, interesting. Crow's trying to fish names. Yeah, true. Before, by the way, real quick, um, it's very obvious this is impressive as shit. When you do, like, this kind of stuff, like, he does, like, clearly does all the time, right? This is not his first rodeo spearfishing. So, when you do this kind of stuff, often, you, some people can breathe into water, or, like, just, like, hold their breath into water for, like, five minutes before, like, feeling it. Some dudes are just insane. <laughs> Middle thing about, and it's like, I can only do it for, like, a minute if I was, like, dying, this this is not his first rodeo. This man has done this before. He could probably hold it for a hot second chat. Usually struggle is perfect. Yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it. I didn't know that. My 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 breath was way better in Hawaii, obviously when I snorkeled, but not so much in mainland where I live. Dude, 
that is still very impressive. Pearl Divers and Human? Wait, how how long did that can they hold their breath? Wait, let me see. What's the longest held breath in water record? 24 minutes is crazy. Hi, doggy. 24 minutes and four, 37 seconds is crazy. Hi, Dream. That is almost a half an hour of just not breathing. How? How is that possible? Yeah, Navy SEALs um, had to do like three to five minutes, but that person did. I would have been dead eight times over. Oh, yeah, but this guy. Oh, yeah, this guy's crazy, by the way, as well. Did he get one? Did you start a break like 10 minutes about oxygen? I don't know. Oh, so is great. Does it, I don't, I, yeah, da brain damage? I don't know. I, uh, let me see. Let me do a Google. Um, how long from holding your breath until brain damage? Five to 10 minutes of not breathing, you are likely to develop serious and probably a reversal brain damage. I wonder how the shit. 24 minutes. I don't. Okay. I do got to say. I do got to say. Before I assume. Yeah, training helps, number one. Number two. We are in a world with, like, billions of people, right? Billions. People are born with, like, genetic, like, craziness all of the time. There are people who are full body contortionists who can, like, bend their neck at, like, 380 angles, right? Like, and they're just, like, born like that, bro. So... It's entirely possible this person was like a hot bit of training and maybe a little bit of genetics. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that technique that deal. Oh, and also technique. There's probably a whole bunch of shit, right? So I don't know. That's crazy. 24 minutes is nuts. Humans are crazy. Yeah, humans are crazy. Did you know humans are like one of the only, I think they're one of, if not the only animal to exist in the animal kingdom that like they will continue going despite not being able to go. Like a wolf will eventually stop for rest, but a human will continue to walk effectively until they die it's very interesting how we can just like turn off that part of our brain that says you should stop doing what you're doing and you can just keep going it's very interesting that's not for breathing period meaning uh no air in the lungs at all right and i'm like i wonder if there's a way that no i have no idea how to do that's crazy i have no idea because we're dumb true we have anime willpower willpower i believe it one minute four. and breathe one minute 40 seconds is so impressive 44 seconds we've got our stops hell yeah dude 144 is really good i don't care what you think if, if you're like oh i could do that like that i'm sure maybe but that's does not change the fact that it's incredibly good it's incredibly good i bravo that's very well done truth be told that's so good my goodness and if you managed to hold your breath for that long good work and if you didn't and you've now blacked out in front of your computer <laughs> Even better, please remain that way for the rest of the video and then let my other videos keep auto-playing after. Nice. Infinite money glitch. Man just got an infinite money glitch, Chad. He did it. Very well done. I got 44 seconds. And on bad. this dive, I'm attempting to go full stealth mode and made my body as... What is that thing? Is that a rock or a clam of some kind? As flat as possible on the bottom, and then okay. I used boulders as cover, and then used my hands to crawl along trying to get closer okay. to the school of What's in this video? I would like to uh, give him a like. This video is I did a thing, and it's I made a spear gun uh, to get twice as many fish, which has not worked at all so far. Yo, Kat, thank you for following. How you doing? Oh, yeah, of course. We, we love uh, shutting out uh, our, 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 our videos we watch. Him? So I missed again. Damn, dude. Dude, I don't know how he's trying to line up to like the one v one because that's crazy. Here we go. And again. Damn, that looks. There are a lot of problems with this gun. Yeah, no The kidding. biggest one being how hard it is to move around underwater, and I need to press it up against my shoulder to move it properly, which makes it incredibly hard to aim. And after missing this much, the weather turned to shit, so we called it a day. Damn, dude. Okay, so he might have to come back for round two. I mean, day one, I learned. Is, he, is he staying lot. out here, I wonder? Okay. Day two? Oh, he got a drone. Let's go, dude. 
I would love to get into droning. I think droning is a really cool hobby. I think it's a really, really cool hobby. I'm just worried that one day I will drone over like a murder from the mob in the woods and they'll see the drone and I'll panic and bring it back home and they'll follow me back home and then they'll kill me. So, you know, but other than that, it's pretty cool. I want his house. I don't think it's his house. I think it's just, I think he's like at his friend's house. Woke up early and the swell was looking wow. super flat. And even before we got in the water, wow. we could see a shark from the house on the door. God, drive. it's so pretty. I might move to Australia. Hold on. Cost of living in Australia. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about it. Actually, you guys can keep Australia. <laughs> you know what? I thought about it, chat. You guys can have Australia. I'm good. I'm actually okay. If you your house in Australia, I, I, I'm good, actually. No, that's okay. I'm good. You guys have it. <clears throat> That water so costs money. I down to the water and jumped in, and it was Hold a big nurse shark just cruising for nurse some food. Sharks, and after babies. taking the drone back up, we also spotted a hammerhead shark, Ooh. a pot of dolphins chilling in the shallows. Dicks! I hate dolphins, little bastards. Big <laughs> schools of rays. British charge weekly. Is that true? I hate. I have mysterious, fast-moving objects, which were either big fish or sharks. And we hoped this nurse meant shark. Yeah, let's do it to a suffer Oh, yeah! A whole year. Kilometer off. Oh yeah, yeah, what? Thank you, Arch. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. One. I hit a Great Barrier Reef once, along with uh, see, oh, that's so cool. Shore to the islands, as the swell was lower, and we know from last time when we were here that right. it's where the bigger fish hang out. Sure. But as soon as we got the boat past the headlands no, into yep. more open water, the, water's the weather bad. got worse. Water's and the bad. water was looking eerie and dark. And no, 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 bad signs, bad signs, bad signs. Hey, about drone and stuff. Okay. Vettel, creator of Neurosama, after uh -huh. some Twitter posts. Upload Neuro I to drone. Sure. After turning it on drone, fly high and escape from the control range. Tracks. For today, drone is Mia. Yeah, tracks. I would like to do a drone. I think just. I think. I, I think I would probably. Um, if I did droning, I would keep it as like a hobby. There are some things that I like to keep off of stream for just me. You know, like a good example is I only really watch Meat Canyon stuff, specifically Papa Meat off stream because it's like a me thing i like it so I, if i did droning i'd probably do like a me thing um but by the way murky water tides going crazy sky looking great dude don't do this it's gonna be a hard public rv in australia yeah for true no part of me wanted to hop in so my mate got in first okay. all right you're in the water first this time <laughs> I didn't dude this is a bad this is this water looks rough i don't like that Last time. <laughs> Murky as fuck. Is it? Yeah, it's getting murky, dude. Look at the waves. The waves are getting bad. The waves are getting bad. There's no way uh help along can handle the uh, wildlife out of the brush. Oh, I'll be fine. I live in America, I'll be right. Fuck. And the water was disgusting. And we were in about 20 meters of water, but could barely see three meters in front of us. No, dip. dip. So we moved closer to one of the islands and I made a dive. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do open ocean dark water chat. Don't do dark ocean dark uh, open ocean dark water chat. Don't do that. Uh, there's another that side. Uh, unless it's Sadly, World of Warcraft, my GoPro true. was broken as I was diving past ten meters, but I didn't realize, so I was just swimming around like an idiot trying to film stuff. But luckily, we have my mate's perspective Good. that barely captures what happens. I managed to get my first fish. No! <laughs> Massive black drummer. Okay, well, maybe we can see his side. Did you get it? Okay, we saw the line go out. I'm so sorry, I turned my head because I saw something. And I guess I could be lying as you didn't actually see the shot. True. And I could have just shot an already dead fish that we planted there earlier. True. But I was ecstatic to get a fish with the gun for dinner. And it was... That's huge. So the fish gets super dark. It's 100% night. Yeah, 100%. Big as well. Weighing in at 3.5 kilos. How big is that? Hey, I'll show you something out here. How big is that? Whoa, that's so a big boy! So after putting the fish in the boat, we jumped that's back in. That's a big in a slightly boy! Different spot. And the visibility got increasingly worse. No, guys, look at the so tide. The guys, whoa, guys, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Five pounds is crazy. How long does it uh, work? It's an open top, so it shouldn't water pour in. Um, some of them have auto closes, by the way, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. Also, what is the end of the world is having to watch uh, ads every time of the hour. Courtesy Jeffrey Bezos. You can avoid ads on Twitch Prime, Twitch Show, Twitch Show, because it's up. Otherwise, it's five minutes ads. Anyway, right? No! 
But even with the worst conditions and being barely able to stay in one spot, my mate managed to shoot a leather jacket with the most unnecessary gangster grip I've ever seen. Did he get it? But while he was getting the fish on the it's a pretty good size fish, right? The float line, we were unknowingly being pushed by the current. Yeah, you are. That's right, you are being pushed the current. And when we did finally look up, the boat was like 300 meters away. Oh, bro, nightmare fuel. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. This is why you don't do that. Yeah, we're gonna head back that way. This is why you don't do this, chat. And it's so hard to know how strong the currents are pulling you when the visibility is bad, as we don't True. have an underwater reference point. True. So I thought we were floating in one spot as I was watching a school of fish and keeping up with them. But it turns out- why you don't go down dark, dude, is all I'm saying. Turns out those fish were also moving in the current. You just love this? I mean, I, I, I think I think that I, I, I respect the current too much. I get terrified of, I, I, I was in the Navy, so I think that I know the effects of a powerful current, and I just don't care for it. You know what I'm saying? Your boy ain't trying to, like, get down on the current and get pushed away to Narnia, right? So, like, nah. The current. Yes. Those fish are for the true. The current always wins. We swam exactly. against the current for, like, 10 minutes, but it barely moved. Yeah, that's and I don't works. know if you can tell from this footage, but this current was ripping. Yeah, that's just crazy. Ooh, time to get... Ooh, but get... See, here we Just go. Hide it. Turned to Jilly and realized we were in a bit of trouble. We're not moving. Yep. We have a bit. We'll be hiding that rock oh. before. Uh. Our knight in shining armor arrived. You guys are so goddamn lucky. You guys are so crazy lucky. We didn't realize how strong this card is. Yeah, don't know what's up. So lucky. This beautiful bloke named Michael. Michael, you actually saved two YouTubers who ironically didn't die to their own invention, just their hubris. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Who picked me up on his jet ski and took me back to the boat. And you know what? I'm very glad I didn't drown, as I'm pretty sure drowning and dying is against YouTube's monetization policy. And I really... True don't want this video to be demonetized. True, but smart. But my mate was still in the water. But luckily my mate was calm about the whole being swept out to sea thing and decided okay. to make the best of it and reload his gun and shoot some fish while waiting yeah. to be picked up. Why not? You got like 20 minutes, sure. But unfortunately for him, before he could reload, this school of kingfish, probably around the 85 centimeter mark, came in and had a good look at him before disappearing into the gloom. God, that's so unlucky, dude. This is like anxiety inducing. That's so unlucky. It's still like that, where it's like, brother, that's so too bad. And even though he didn't shoot one, it's really good to know they were in the area. True. True. Then Michael came just in time before he was swept in between the two islands and took him back to the boat. Michael's the goat, dude. Chat, give it up for Michael, bro. Michael's the goat, bro. Michael's Michael, the goat. If you're watching, we love you. Yeah. All right, after that sketchy experience, we decided to call it a day and had yeah. some delicious black drama ceviche Ooh, for see. dinner. Oh, I'm so hungry. Did you guys make that? Oh. Dude, and I oh my God. woke up determined to get some fish. That looks so Not good. Not just for the video, but just to eat, as we had right. been living off rations for the last two days. Dude. So we headed oh, out on the boat. It seemed like so little. Cup. Yeah, they, they, I mean, some fish you just get a little bit, right? You're not gonna get like a monster plate from us. You mean under the desperate? Is it worth uh, continuing the adventure? No. Turns out it's not. Arm spot from the first Turns out day, not. and just decided to stay in the water until we got something good. Okay, that's the. And the on my first dive, I dove to around 27 feet Ooh. and spotted a nice sized sweet lips. A what? Sweet lips? And it didn't want to get close. And it also seemed to be hiding behind a big blue groper, which we aren't allowed to shoot. Oh. So I waited for the blue groper to move out of the way. And then missed. Yeah. And that's it. I'm done. I'm missing even more with this gun than my normal one. And it's so frustrating to yep. use. Yep. So now I'm just going to focus on catching dinner and having a nice time. So I grabbed my old gun. That's fair. Like, if you're out in the... You know what? I don't actually... Like, I don't blame you here. Like, if I get it. It's a good bit. It's really funny. But in reality, you tried. It didn't work out. Call it a day. Have fun for your last day. Just go catch a fish, bro. 
I you you, you tried. It just didn't work. It didn't work out. Oh! Stepped on a seer to another gate. Dude, that sucks. And because I broke my GoPro, I don't have my point of view of what happened next. Okay. But luckily, my mate still recorded enough of it. I was sure. breathing up on the surface in around six meters of water sure. while my mate was untangling his gun. And in comes a three meter or ten foot shark. And my This is the part. I knew it happened. I hate this part. Mate does the right thing and stays calm and just watches it. Holy shit. That is a big ass shark. Cause that's like that's like really deep down there too, bro. That's deep down there, bro. Mm -mm. But for some reason he doesn't tell me it's nearby and lets me dive to the bottom right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's kinda shitty, dude. Then when I get to the bottom, I only spot the shark when it's like four feet away from me at eye level. Oh and I my. got the fright of my life and then did what you're not meant to do and freak out and immediately swam to the surface. How are you alive anymore, man? How are you alive, bro? Uh, is it coming for you? Yeah, I just saw it. it <laughs> at you. Yeah, I just saw it. Did you see what it was? I couldn't tell from above. It looked like a white. A white? A white? Dude, get out. Just get out of the water, guys. Guys, get out of the water. I love sharks. They're good babies. Get, get out of the water. Just not worth it. Also, there's a, is it a white? There's no way. And at the time, I thought it was a great white. It was in the murk. And I no, it's not a great white. That's no way. It's way too small for a great white. I was like, I did not see a. There's no way. No, 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 no. That's a sand shark. I, 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 it's not a great white. That's for sure. It's not a great white at all. It's not even this remotely the same size, dude. Great whites are here. I got you, hat. Shark warning. For those of you who don't know the difference, um, just look at just just objectively. Sp oh, that's like a gross picture of that. I did not need to see that. Thank you. Uh, Google images. Um, very cool. Uh, just look at the the. Um, oh, that's a white image. Hold on. The objective difference in... Are these all web images? What is happening? How about this one? Hold on. There we go. Look at white sharks. Um, they're objectively just a different shape. Like, they're just chonkier and bigger and just bigger boys. There's bigger boys. There's big boys, chat. There's big, big boys. They're big, big boys. There's, uh, yeah, no. I could just see gray and then white on the bottom of the shark. But after no. seeing this footage, I think it's more likely a dusky whaler. Still a big shark, though. Fair. So it after seeing shark. the shark, we did a couple more dives. Okay. And my mate took this sleeping morwong. Got him. I and mean, some other fish. Dude, was it and then as we were swimming back to the boat, the third greatest thing that's ever happened to me in the water okay. happened. What's that? We were both on the surface, okay. and I saw these little fish dart away, so sure. I knew something big was coming in. Okay. Oh, what is that? What is that? And then in came two massive kingfish. And without, without even thinking, I took a top-down shot directly into the spine of the fish. Did you get it? And then my mate dove down to shoot the other one, but in his excitement, knocked his goggles half off, letting water into his eyes. Or at least that's the excuse he told me. <laughs> I was gonna say, come on, bro. And he missed. Sure. But my fish was on, and it seemed to be a good holding shot. And I knew this fish was big, but yeah. I didn't realize how big it how was big? until I'm I tried to I'm pull it me. to the surface, it's and not... I couldn't. Whoa. And I was very lucky that my shot must have nicked its spine. I'll get it in for you. As kingfish this size have more than enough power to pull all your gear down and tangle up on the bottom. But Really? How big is a kingfish? Luckily, I was managing to control the fish and stop it from doing that. But while I was doing this, I then began to think about the big shark we just saw. Yeah. And worried it was going to come in and eat the fish. True. Before I could. But there was nothing They're else massive? I could do okay. but wait until my mate had reloaded for a second shot. Okay. And if you've ever gone spearfishing, you'll know that there is no slower feeling in the world than trying to reload your gun while there's good fish around. God, that's a, that's a mood, bro. I, okay, that's fair. 
That's fair. And it took him a That's whole fair. one minute 30 to do. Also, the other kingy he just missed was still swimming around. Oh, him. But man. eventually he They're 40 pounds? And dove down for a second shot. Holy shot shit. Second shot, I'll go for the other one. 40 pounds is small in? Probably just second shot. Second shot. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. T grab, grab, the, grab it. You, you got it. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Come on. Don't be greedy. Here we go. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh. That thing is massive. That's a big fish. Oh my God. Still moving. Oh, did he get it? No way, miss. He got it. You got a good chance of looking at it. Got it. That's a monster. That's a big god dang. How do you catch that normally? Is it just through spearfishing? And the whole idea of me making the double barreled gun was to not have to need a second person or a second shot in Funny situations enough. like this. Funny enough, you yep. know what? I am very glad I didn't have the double barreled spear gun on yep. me as I yep. definitely would have missed this fish. Yes. And eventually the fish got tired enough and we managed to pull it up to me. And only now, when I tried getting my arms around the fish, did I realize how big it was. You made friends with it? You uh, reached back friendship? True. It was almost the length of my mate. What? That is a massive fish. Oh, by the way, yeah, you never go in the water alone, chat. Never go in the water alone. Don't let alone spearfishing. But also... That is whoa! This doesn't feel real. I've never seen a fish this big before. It's ridiculous. It's fucking giant. Holy shit! What an adventure these guys had, dude. Dude, man, this is a little bit different from our usual "I did a thing" adventure, where now we're just getting like really cool experiences. That's really cool. I get. I, that's really. What makes it yes? Uh, uh, these life are getting hundred hundred eighty four centimeters. Oh my god. That's crazy. My shot wasn't bad. And wow. this is definitely going to be enough fish for dinner. Yeah. So we headed in. I will feel like we grab some abalone, or as I call it, a 60 pound catfish. Oh my god. Vaginas of the sea. Yeah. And then weighed the kingfish. And it came in at 22 kilos and 136 centimeters, which is 4 foot 4 or 50 pounds. Big. Mother huffing fish. Was this was, 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 was that American? Yeah, there we go. Don't worry. I forgot how big it was already. After you just pulled oh it out. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> what do you, yeah, you, you, I wonder where the head cutoff point is. Apparently, they're just going to go right for the meat parts. Also, trigger warning it's a little bit of blood for fish guys. I didn't realize we we're going to do it on camera. Uh, I'll give you guys five seconds. I don't mind because I've got a fish for but also, you know, uh, assume the next. Three minutes, or uh, what minute is this? And go. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Woo! Oh my god. And there's the fin. Dude, fried fin. I'm so hungry. I can eat. I'm going to go eat some fish out of my, I don't know, goldfish tank. <laughs> if I had one. Oh, it's a big bowl of Yep. Oh! I'd like to say gross. Dude, I guys, I'm salivating. Salivating. Well, there are big ships, there are small ships. There are ones that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships, <laughs> like the ones between you and me. Aww. <laughs> All right. That was like really endearing. And after the success of this double-barreled spear gun, I've decided I don't want it. And whoever yeah. finds it first gets it. Just please don't shoot yourself or anyone with it. The coordinates to its location are hidden somewhere in this video. <laughs> dude, that was a really cool video. I man, I liked that one a lot, dude. That was really fun. It's I thought it was gonna be the same, but it just turned out to be like a wholesome little fishing adventure, dude. I I Dan, that was fun. I liked that one a lot. That was a fun video, bro. That was I did a thing. Uh I, I don't move to Australia, it's still very expensive, but uh that's really really cute. That was a very, very fun video, and I'm really happy that they had a good time and didn't get died in the ocean. So good for them.